In this video, let's take a look at one of the more underutilized reports in Google Analytics, and that is in our site speed reports. And we're going to take Craig Sullivan's suggestion here. So we're going to go into our analytics, we're going to go into our behavior, and then we're going to go into site speed, and we're going to take a look at our site speed reports. Now in this page timings report, there's an awful lot to go through, but now in this report, you instantly see page views and page views. We're actually going to flip this over. We're going to flip it over to document uh, interactive time. Now this is essentially just how long it takes the browser to hand control back to the user so the user can actually interact with your pages. And we can see here instantly which ones actually might be problems here. The little outliers in our group as far as actually being a little bit slower when compared to the rest of the pages. So this is a really great report to be able to do a very quick list of all of your pages that are coming in and then how long is it actually taking them to hand control back to the user. You also have average page load time and with all things, again, I wouldn't get caught up in the numbers themselves, but look for the same patterns. So you can see here, those same two are still pretty big outliers. And if we flip it over to this other in the content loaded time, still again, outliers. So we have these two pages that are definitely looking like they're a little bit slower than average, even though they've got lots of traffic coming through. So they are important pages. Um, and then you can maybe look at some of these other pages like the sign-in page or the, the redesign here for the Nest pages that Google has created and what might make those better or faster loading pages. Again, from a technical perspective, page speed could possibly help you with conversions. And so this is a really, really important report in Google Analytics that is often overlooked, but incredibly important. So again, under site speed, page timings, and if you look at your DOM timings, that's how you get to this report. All right, now it is your turn. I would love to hear how you're actually applying what you're learning to your own business. So do me a favor, leave a comment below. And also, if you like topics around Google Analytics, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. You're going to love the other future videos and you will actually be notified when they're released, assuming you subscribe.